House of Corrections because I was sentenced to two and a half days in jail in lieu of paying the hundred and thirty or so dollar fines for not registering my vehicle. I simply think that I, as a human being, I'm free. And as long as I'm not harming anyone, and as long as I'm self-sufficient paying my own way, I just think that I should be left alone. And basically the two rules, you know, love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself, really ought to be able to encompass all of the law. I refuse to pay the state. I don't condone what it is they're doing, putting peaceful people in jail who have not committed any violent crimes. So I spend $150 a week or so on gas, and about half of that goes to fuel tax. Vehicle registration fees for the state of New Hampshire do not go to the roads. I'm not interested in what the general fund provides. My kids don't go to the schools. I don't use any uh, social services. I don't think of myself as a criminal and someone that needs to be locked away to protect other people. I didn't harm anyone. The real crime is touching people and hurting them against their will and stealing. I didn't do either one of those things. The state's doing that to me. And yet I'm the criminal. I want to leave the world a better place than I found it. We're at the Cheshire County House of Corrections in Keene, New Hampshire on this beautiful October day. See that? Yes. Yeah. As I don't register my vehicles, I was pulled over and ticketed and in lieu of paying a fine of 130 or so dollars to the state to perpetrate this kind of baloney against people who are peaceful, aren't causing anyone harm, aren't stealing from anyone, aren't causing any physical harm. After getting to know Michelle, um, which she's quick to, to allow you to do, she's really personable and she's just an ordinary person, a mom, who has lots of responsibilities and doesn't include having to jump through hoops for the state. And uh, now they're forcing her with guns to come so that she can be held captive for who knows how long. Anywhere else, I mean, that would be considered molestation. So here I am going in for a non-violent, you know, thing, and I'm going to be tortured. And you kept without food, without a blanket, and um, unless, unless I let them touch me. And it's up to the superintendent, Ben Wickler. It's totally his call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should we go say hi to the people inside? If you'd like. Yeah. Yes. And look at those shoes. Yes. Great nice Michelle. places. <laughs> they will take those away. Yes, they will. As miserable as that is, think about the people in Guantanamo that the United States government is holding there against their will without any formal charges against them. They're deprived of uh, light. They wear goggles and they're oh. deprived of dark. You'll at least have light, probably too much light, fluorescent light. Yeah. As unhappy as I am to be doing this, you know, I don't think, I'm not thinking of it as being a martyr, certainly. I'm just, you know, choosing the lesser of two evils. So I will, you know, absorb some of the state's money, I guess. And they're going to absorb some of your time. Yeah. And uh, they're going to take you away from the community, from your children. And I think they're, they're intent on uh, correcting you. I like it that I'm my kid's hero. You know, how many moms have three teenagers can say that, man? Ms. Seven. Yes? You're going to have to go down to the next door, into the booking door. If you go out that door and turn left, then go back into the, another set of doors. Can we all go in here? No, Probably not. So, okay, so it's it's Friday yeah. at uh, 5, 5 p.m. All right, give me a hug. Don't fight with your brother. Right. Huh? I'll see you Monday, for sure. Okay. All right, Michelle, you take care. Uh -huh. Love all the hugs. Mm -hmm. I love you too, sweetie. Thanks for coming. Good luck, Yeah, yeah. Mr. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll call the house first. Uh, I just not drive anybody in. Okay. Other than you. Oh, you got it. Your... Oh, there's a game, Michelle. Yeah. I'm gonna win. We're, we're gonna win. Yep. Oh, I guess. Hello. It's almost like detention. Even if the weight's gonna go. Okay. See ya. Bye, Michelle. There's a woman putting on gloves. Oh no. And she said that uh, way. Oh, I see. Want to support good people who disobey bad laws? The Civil Disobedience Evolution Fund was created to support the brave men and women who are saying no to aggressive government. With your contribution, you can support civil disobedience and non-cooperation now, while encouraging more in the future. As CD Evolution grows, we hope to provide activists with legal and public relations assistance, as well as delivering timely information on the growing civil disobedience movement. To play your part in the peaceful evolution, visit cdevolution.org. That's cdevolution.org.